How's it going, everybody? Let's do a quick video. I'm going to bring some blood pythons out. That's always a great and uh, popular video um, whenever I get those guys out. So, um, got my snake hook. I won't be hooking them out. They're too heavy bodied for that. If you guys, guys, if you didn't know, don't pull a blood python out with a hook like this. If you're going to use the hook to support them, make sure you have one of those. Uh, those wide hooked uh, ones for giant pythons. Um, yeah, I just use this to kind of direct the head away from me so I don't get accidentally uh, nailed thinking I'm a rat or something. So I'm gonna pull out Blood Up first. He's my 2007, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Blood Python. My male, the one I've had the longest. Go back and watch some of the other videos. I did sell him at one point back in 2009, 2008. Um, and I got him back right about 2010. So I didn't, he wasn't gone for very long, but he did a lot of growing since while he was gone. So I'm gonna pull him out. I've had him since then though. I'm gonna be off camera for a little bit talking. And looks like he's hungry. Because he's coming at me like he wants some food. But, <clears throat> and I kind of only hold him temporarily with that one hand, but. He's a big boy. He isn't as uh, big as he used to be. I'm not kind of I'm not power feeding him. Or, I never did really did power feeding him, but I, but I fed too large a prey item. I learned uh, just by reading and listening to podcasts and things from a lot of old timers like the Barkers. Uh, they know what they're doing. They feed a medium rat to all adult snakes every two weeks, so it saves the cash on feeding, and it also makes it so your animal lives longer. They're not all obese. So, this is a, um, I believe he's about six feet long. And he's my boy. We saw him in the last couple of videos. But, and blood pythons are kind of a triangular shape, so you'll always kind of feel this ridge here over there on their spine. So you can see. If this was a cutout, you'd see kind of a, a triangular shape, kind of like a gaboon viper. But I'm going to put him away, and then I'm going to bring out a gal that may or may not bite me. So Blood is put away. Now I'm going to pull out Harley. I'm definitely going to need the hook for Harley. <coughs> Folks, bear with me. Just getting her situated here. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of a rodeo today. Woo! Everything's kind of off camera. Sorry about that. Let's see. You can see she's left me a present on the floor. <clears throat> but I'm going to pick her up. That's what this video is. It's kind of a blood python handling video and sorry I don't I have, I have a tripod coming in the mail so you're gonna be able to see a lot more of this footage but what I do is just basically block their head from striking with the hook Okay, she's not having it today. Okay, mouth is open. That means she really does not want it. I really don't want to get bit by this gal. Wait. 
wait till she's calmed down a bit. Pick her up. It's alright, girl. It's alright. See? It's okay. Big girl coming at the camera, squeezing past the uh, whoops. Oh, okay, here she is. I'm kind of holding her in a precarious manner. Cause she is freaking heavy. She's almost 20 pounds. I'm gonna put her away. She's upset. Her mouth is open trying to hammer me. But that's Harley. I've had her since she was a noodle. Oh, it smells foul in here. So, all right guys, that was the best we can do with her. Usually she's not that crazy. I've had her out before. You can see some of the previous videos, but she's not feeling like she wants to be held today. Um, she's really heavy. I'm uh, breathing kind of hard right now, kind of out of shape. But let me grab some of the smaller guys, and we'll finish up with them. I've got two more. I'll grab them. So guys, I always try to do my best not to get bit. Maybe I'm a little extra cautious in that sense, but... 